No problem at all. Uh, first and foremost, like I said in my tweet, all glory and honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, without him, uh, without them, my family, uh, important friends, um, this would not be possible at all. Uh, like I talked to a lot of teammates yesterday from those LSU years, and the number one thing I told them that this was for them. Uh, just the times we had, the memories we had, the opportunities, you know, to bond as a unit, uh, to bond as friends, and to be able to still talk about it now, that, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, so, at, at, like at this time, I take any question. <laughs> I was alone uh, in my computer room, and my father-in-law brought me a box, and didn't know what it was. Usually, know what in the FedEx package come to your house. You usually know what it is because you ordered something. Didn't know what it was, and I opened the box, and first thing you see is "Welcome to the club." I look down, and normally, if it's not pertaining to football, I usually don't read into detail. But I had to read into detail because it was a football. <laughs> Um, and just to see it and understand what it was, wow. Uh, like I told my wife when I told her, I wasn't expecting this for another 10, 15 years, um, just with the opportunity that the great that already have played the game, still playing the game now, um, it, it is a blessing. Kev, if we can uh, roll back the clock, you know, to the mid-90s, and, and just you took a chance on LSU. You know, I remember hearing the stories that, you know, you were the first guy Jerry wanted to go see, you know, and, you know, making sure that getting the recruiting down. And, and just what was it that, that, that made you confident enough maybe in yourself to help turn this program around? Young, naive, not kind of understand life at that time. But, uh, like I said in the tweet earlier, homegrown. Um, and any big decision that I make, I always sit down by myself and ask God to give me a sign. Um, which direction I need to go, which direction I may need to go. Um, and that sign, that particular moment, that situation was my oldest daughter being born the day I got back from Florida. So that, that there could be no bigger sign for me than that. And whenever she was born and I held her, I knew I wasn't going too far. Kevin, Josh Sibley with uh, Louisiana Cardinal Football. Uh, with so many former players coming to LSU because of you, even Ty Davis Price coming to you and asking to wear the number three jersey. Where do you see this cementing your legacy at LSU? Uh, another part of it. Uh, never know what happens going forward. Uh, you try to continue to build your legacy as a person, a uh, young man as I am, um, but just still building. Um, took me a while to understand and figure out who I was um, when football was done. Um, I got a really good idea right now. And it, it's just to continue to build that. Um, we don't know what's next, but continue to build and continue to move forward. Yeah, uh, Ron Higgins, Tiger Details. Um, Coach Renato always talked about how, how education was a priority with you, that you wanted to graduate. You made sure you graduated. Just talk about that aspect and why that was important to you and I guess how it served you I mean, even now. Well, growing up, my mom always instilled education in us. Um, it wasn't just talk. It was really about that, and I was still young and naive at the time to understand it. But once I came to LSU and understand the importance of it, I kind of got it. Um, and when I had the opportunity to leave as a junior, and I only had 18 hours left to graduate, I, I knew that if I were to leave as a junior, I probably wouldn't come back to get that degree. So I knew how important that was and stayed for that, um, which not knowing 15 years later that it really was going to help out in the process of me becoming a football coach. Let's talk more about the past because that's when I was in school. So I remember a lot of those Yeah, games. good, man, good. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> doubt. But what was it like um, at that time? You had some great running back, you know, mates with you, obviously, that kind of complimented your game. You had so many highs. Everyone was going to think of the 97 game, right, and, you know, you being on the cover and just the idea of kind of you were the man. You know, how did – what do you remember of that now, I guess? <laughs> I don't know about me being the man, uh, but I understood kind of what I brought to the team. But it was all about bringing everybody else together because those guys came be because I came as well. Um, and what it means right now, it's 
still the communication with those guys. Still, you know, that's how important it is to us. Uh, so many guys hit me up, like I said earlier, to to congratulate me, to thank me. Uh, but that's what it's all about, and that's what you build throughout the course of your college career. You know, I know we've all been told that you build your best of friends in college, and and it's true. Uh, uh, Kevin, Jared Paul Joseph with WVLA. Just a personal question, more on your personal life, if you don't mind, for a second. Uh, I know how the last year has gone with you know, the coaching carousel and things of that nature, but also what you and your family went through recently. Just how much does getting this surprise and news about getting inducted uplift you personally? Times 20. Times 20. Been tough, but like you always say, got to have faith. Got to have faith. And having faith means that nothing happens to you. It happens for you. Um, so it's tough, but times 20, like I said. Thank you. Yep. And also, I'm from the 337, so just in hindsight, what would you, did you how much did you imagine a kid from Karen Grove could become a three-time Super Bowl champ in the College Football Hall of Famer? Huh. Dream. That's what you dream for. That's what we all dream for. That's, you don't dream f for all of that. You dream to to make it to make it out, to have make it understandable that you can get out for younger kids, younger than you. But to accomplish that, it just means a lot. Uh, it lets you know that all the hard work, the dedication, the changing that you did as a person, as a dad, it's it's all going in the right direction. Uh, Kevin, when. Coach Donato got the job. There's a famous story about the team was going to walk out on this guy. They couldn't stand him, and <laughs> nobody got up. Everyone stayed. One guy walked out, and everyone stayed. Um, he was obviously a winner and turned things around for a while. What what was the uh, the secret with him as you guys kind of teamed up? Uh, crazy. You say that. Um, called him yesterday, talked to him about 15 minutes, just thanking him. Um, like you say, he wasn't a fan favorite. <laughs> Uh, by many guys on the team, even some of my closest friends. But that's kind of what I liked about him. Um, he had a different leadership style uh, that he stuck to. Um, it might have burned him in the end, but he stuck to it. Uh, I mean, it got him some wins, uh, but it got a couple people frustrated with him as well. But I just liked the leadership style that he had, and he, he stuck with it. He never changed it at all. Kevin, once you got the FedEx box yesterday, just kind of, what time of day kind of did that arrive, and how did you just spend the rest of the day? Was it all talking to teammates and former? You know? Oh, it wasn't yesterday. I got the FedEx box on Thursday, and I just had to keep quiet for a while. You don't understand how tough that was. Uh, personally, I, well, I told my wife and a couple of other people, but that it was real tough not to tell. Uh, Kevin, there was a magazine cover with you, Cecil Rondell, and that still pops up, and people say that's the best group of running backs LSU ever had. Um, and then Kendall Cleveland in, in there, too, I guess. Yeah, I was point. about to say you forget one. <laughs> you forget Cleveland. Uh, but it seemed like you guys got along. No one was jealous over carries. or How did you guys kind of, you know, talk to me about that fraternity? Oh, it's still alive and kicking, bro. <laughs> it's still alive and kicking. We got a group text that we talk to each other every morning. Um, it, 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 like I said, it's just that group of brothers. Um, and Herb in that same group text message. Uh, we didn't look at it that way as competing for a job or something. We just wanted to help LSU win football games. This is our home state. This is our home school. I mean, we got opportunity to play, and we just wanted to help help out with that. Uh, one of the funniest stories was when I got hurt, uh, and I had to sit out that Auburn game, and Cecil was for a million yards against him, and I was like, uh-oh. Just like I'll be second team. <laughs> but that, that's just how we were, and that's just how, you know, as brothers we are, still are. You talked a moment ago about kind of learning who you are now. You know, there's, I guess, this Kevin that we all remember, and now there's this Kevin. How much did you enjoy coaching, and is that something that, you know, you'd like to maybe keep involved in? A uh, whole lot. Like, I didn't play in the NFL for 13 years for nothing. Uh, got a lot to offer. This opportunity wasn't for me right now. So, you know, find, figure out what's moving, what's going forward, moving next. Uh, but trust me, I will be training somebody on the side, whatever I decide to do. Did, did it mean a lot to you to be asked to come back to LSU? Uh, 
yeah, but I was hurt, <laughs> you know. Like I told my aunt, I'm, I'm human. We all human. I can understand certain things, but when you hurt, you hurt. Uh, so it took a while, and it took a while to understand a lot of things. Um, so, yeah, it, it 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 meant a lot because I wasn't going nowhere. I'm too loyal to this place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about did you even have to come back and be a part of that again though? I mean, did, was that kind of like a rebirth for you? Rebirth from what? I've always been here. I'm always a tiger. Forever LSU. So it wasn't no real no rebirth. It was just if I wanted to do it. How I me and my wife was talking earlier, this change. People in the state of Louisiana don't like change. But change they always bad. I guess it's been over 20 years since your playing days, but just how do you want people to remember your career and just your, your loyalty to LSU and throughout you know your entire life? Kind of what we're talking about, growing, growing as a person, growing as a football player, uh, growing as a coach, um, and then just people understanding that who you are, who I am. Um, that's about it. Now you sort of mentioned a second, but do you, do you know what you would like to do next? I know what I need to do next. Be with my family. So whatever job that may be going forward, it's going to pertain to being with my family a lot more. Is, is that something that just comes with age and, and kind of realizing what maybe you missed out on when you were in the NFL for all those years, or is that specific to this year and, you know, what you guys have gone through? Not missed out on. Understand, understanding was needed now. I, my family has always allowed me to be me and do me. It's time for me to be there for them.